Hey there, I'm Jake and welcome to the 2023 Modular Toolbox Rankings. Over the last few years, the amount of brands in the Modular Toolbox game has increased rapidly. So the goal of this video is to talk a bit about each brand, place them into one of three categories, basic, enhanced, and premium, and help you decide what brand will be right for you. There are a lot of factors to weigh in this comparison. In the end, all of these systems can provide unique ways to get organized. And ultimately, you're the only one who can decide which system will work best for you. If this video helps you decide, don't forget to smash the like button. And as always, if you agree or disagree, comment below. It's great for the algorithm. In each category, I have selected five different options varying in price, features, and quality. Let's get started with the first option in the basic category. The classic five gallon bucket. For about six bucks, you can get yourself a bucket and lid to carry your tools. Obviously, I'm kind of joking here, but I've used buckets for tons of different projects and they can be very versatile, especially if you get one of these bucket organizers. They have tons of pockets for hand tools and you can also create a rolling setup using a hand truck or dolly like this one available on Amazon. I'll link it in the description below. Moving on to the enhanced category. The systems in this category range in price from $150 to about $249. However, some provide many more features for the price than others. Let's start with Bauer from Harbor Freight. The first of the three main things I like about the Bauer system is the price. The three main boxes are less than $150 and the two additional items are fairly priced as well. One slight dislike is the manual side connecting mechanism. It works fine, but other systems are slightly more convenient. Another feature I'm a fan of are the top boxes, six included bins. They have an attached lid, and this is a pretty unique feature across all the systems in this video. The removable dividers are a nice touch as well. One design flaw with the middle box is that it can only be fully open when the handle is down, but that's actually more common than you might think. The third thing I like are the two dividers slash organizers included in the middle box. They have slots for hand tools and elastic bands to keep everything in place. My last complaint is about the wheels. They are a small diameter and completely made of plastic, which will probably make traversing stairs, longer trips, and maneuvering job sites more annoying. One area for improvement is the latch style and location on the bottom box. I wish this lid hinged instead of coming completely off, and I hope that all the latches switch over to a wire gate style like many of the better boxes in this video. For the first visit to the premium category with systems costing $250 and up is the newest competitor to the market, Klein Modbox. My previous video is actually a first impressions of this system and overall, I'm very impressed. For more details, I'll link that video right below the like button. And subscribe for an upcoming in-depth review against Packout and Rigid 2.0. Modbox has definitely capitalized on proven design elements and innovated as well. To learn more about these unique features, check out that first impressions video. Round two. In the basic category, we have Masterforce Toolboxes. I've gotten my hands on these boxes a few times at Menards, and even though I love the store and other Masterforce products like these levels, I really dislike the boxes. The first thing I want you to notice is how similar Masterforce boxes are to Bauer, but they are more expensive. In addition to sharing the same flaws as Bauer, the bins are worse in the top box. The dividers in the middle box don't have the elastic, and no other improvements have been made. This system is also worse than Bauer because it lacks a crate or organizer. Those are just a few reasons why I placed this system in the basic category instead of enhanced like Bauer. In the enhanced category, Cobalt K-Stack. K-Stack has been around for a little while now, but they've been very slow at getting into stores and releasing new items. For $219, the quality and features are not bad, 
but they really need to start rolling out the new accessories that mount onto the cleats and releasing new boxes. Although this system has these plastic manual side connectors that are not my favorite, this system does provide flip-up middle connectors. This will allow for expansion into half-width boxes and bags. Overall, I think this system has a lot of potential. It's a thoughtful design that includes standard features, but has also thought about customization and expansion. It's also worth noting that the handle is removable using a very similar design to another system made by Shervon, who manufactures Cobalt, Master Force, and the next system. In the premium category is Flex Stack Pack. Overall, Stack Pack has a lot of potential. It has some unique features, but since its release almost a year ago, I have continued to be disappointed in the lack of innovation and release of new items. Shortly after Stack Pack came out, I made my first impressions video, following that with a detailed comparison with Rigid 2.0 and Packout. I'll link those two videos below. Round three, I have three systems from Stanley Black & Decker. In the basic category, Craftsman Versus Stack and DeWalt T-Stack. I'm combining these two systems into one ranking because they are owned by the same company and can be used interchangeably. With a bundle starting at $99, the VersaStack system can provide a lot of unique organization options. They have a two drawer, a three drawer mechanic set, an organizer box, a bag and a tote, and even more. Also, by combining the items from the two systems, you can create a pretty diverse setup of boxes, bags, drawers, and transportation options for a much lower price than other systems that have comparable products. Obviously, there's still room for improvement, but at this price point, I think it's a bit unfair to complain about certain aspects of quality when the most important thing about this system is the cost to variety ratio. Next up is the big brother of VersaStack, Craftsman Trade Stack. At a sale price of 169, this is a very promising system. Right off the bat, there are some clever design elements, like an integrated cord wrap and tape clip on the handle. To increase the overall quality, I wish they switched from plastic to metal latches. The six included bins in the top box have a nice lid design. And most importantly, this system uses a one-handed connecting mechanism. Inside of the middle box, there is a unique tray design. And there is an identical one in the bottom rolling box. Also, every trade stack rolling box includes an adapter plate to attach VersaStack to your trade stack system. So, in addition to the variety of items the trade stack system has, like drawers, a very high quality bag and tote, the compatibility with VersaStack and T-Stack greatly increases the size of the system. The last Stanley Black & Decker product for today is DeWalt Tough System 2.0. When buying Tough System, make sure to shop around because on just HomeDepot.com, kits can vary drastically. Tough System's connecting mechanism is a spring-loaded side latch. I'm not a big fan of this design because I think it's not as secure as others and it's less convenient than a front latch. The three main boxes have pretty standard features, like bins and trays, but the rolling box does have a removable handle which is a must-have for some users. What helps separate this system from others is the variety of products. In addition to the three standard sizes, DeWalt makes two drawer options, half-width items, a charging box, and several other unique items. My favorite is the special hand truck that keeps the boxes separated during transit. A pet peeve of many users is that they have to unstack top boxes to access the lower ones. With this dolly, you don't have to do that. Also, just like the trade stack system, there is an adapter plate for the T-stack boxes, but this one must be purchased separately. Round four, we have three systems from TTI. 
in the basic category is Heart. Heart is the cheapest system today at $89, yet I was pleasantly surprised. Although the boxes are much smaller than the competitors, I definitely see some value in this brand. The box is attached using a front mechanism, and for the price, you can build out a nice starter kit with different sizes of boxes, organizers, drawers, and even a bag. Obviously, these boxes won't survive blasts from a sledgehammer, but I definitely see value for DIYers looking for some mobile storage, or if you're traversing tight quarters like in an apartment building or a small home. In the enhanced category is Ryobi. Although I think Ryobi is a bit overpriced for what you get, they are expanding the link system, which includes the boxes and their compatible wall system. For quite a while, the system was stuck with just three boxes and a lackluster crate. Those four items are not very impressive. It is cool that the lids have a bit storage and there's some integrated bins, but the overall quality is lacking. For example, the latches are flimsier than others, there's no metal reinforcement around the locking holes, and the connecting mechanism feels cheap. Recently, Ryobi came out with some drawer units and a dolly. I hope we get more items soon to make this system more appealing. The current design of the boxes is noticeably flimsier than others below $200 like Rigid 2.0 or Trades Deck. I see some potential with the entire Link system, but I feel like they are just reusing ideas from Milwaukee Packout and lacking some innovation in their starter boxes. On the other hand, the innovation leader, Milwaukee Packout, is solidly in the premium category. I could spend the next 30 minutes going detail by detail of why Packout is great, but I won't. I have plenty of other videos on it that are in my toolbox playlist linked below, and I'll be comparing this system to Klein Modbox very soon. Basically, all you need to know is that Milwaukee has been the brand investing the most time and energy into designing their modular storage system. Packout currently has the most products of any of these brands today, and it's still growing. There is also a huge community of designers that make even more products that further enhance Packout's usability, like me. Check out my unique organization and customization products on my website, whyhedesigns.com. For our fifth and final round, let's jump back to the basic category. The Husky Connect system at $99 makes it the second most affordable system. Even at this low price point, there are a few unique products and features in this system, such as a compact two drawer unit and a cantilever organizer box. Although I'm not a fan of side latches, this design is very sleek. Additionally, I would like to see upgraded latches and a lid for the bottom box would be nice as well. The final enhanced system, Rigid 2.0, is greatly undervalued. Whether you buy it at full price or on sale, you're getting into a system with a lot of potential. As I've mentioned in my previous videos about this system, there's a decent variety of items and unique interior and exterior features. The 28 inch mobile job box is very intriguing, but the system also includes an organizer and a cooler. My favorite interior features are the included orange organizers. And two awesome exterior features are the included wall mount cleats, and there is a feature no other system has, a completely removable handle with the wheels. For more details on this system, I'll link my previous videos below. And finally, the last premium toolbox is Festool Sustainers. I think it's important to recognize that sustainers are quite a bit different than most of these other toolbox brands. Sustainers are less regularly available and definitely pricier than other options. 
but Festool has some very innovative designs. There's different sized boxes, organizers, drawers, and transportation options. I know many people have commented about sustainers on my videos, and there are high ratings out there, but it's hard to recommend them to others when the prices are much higher than other systems and they are less commonly found. If you have experience with sustainers, comment below so everyone can learn a bit more. Those were the top 15 systems to organize your tools. I know there might have been some controversial opinions today, but guys, come on. They're just toolboxes. If you have any knowledge or experience with some of these systems, please comment below to help others decide which system is best for them. As always, smash the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more tool content. See ya!